Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a little gift guide today. I'm going to tell you what I've got for Olivia and James for their Christmas. So if you don't know me, I'm Shona. I live up in the northeast of Scotland and I've got two kids, Olivia who is two and a half years old and James who is three and a half months old. So quite a difference in ages, quite obviously variations of genders and what to buy them. Um, but I'll just go quickly into James's because obviously he is not, he's going to be like four months at Christmas, not a clue what will be going on. But I've just honestly gone really, really sparse with James because I feel like what's the point in spending lots of money when he doesn't really understand it? Far rather keep my money and keep it for when he's older, he understands it and we can get him like more exciting things that he can open. Um, so that's what I've done. His main present is a jumperoo. Um, and we've bought it second hand. We got it off one of the like buy, swap and sell site. <laughs> we got a really good deal on it. So I just felt like that was a good present for him to get. And I don't see the point in spending a fortune on a brand new um, jumperoo, which will probably only last a couple of months and he'll be into other things. I know he's getting a walker from a mum and he's getting a trunky um, from his other granny and you know, lots of clothes and things like that generally tends to be good for the people, uh, for that sort of age range, I always think, because you definitely need clothes as they go into, you know, the change uh, sizes so quickly. So that's always a good thing. So yes, we've got his jump through. I'm not going to show you. It's still in the box. We got it in the box, which was very lucky. I've cleaned it all up. I've washed out the seat cover and um, we'll take it down. We'll get it opened and all fitted out on Christmas morning. I might put like a little bow on it or something just to make it a little bit special. Um, so yeah, that's what his main present is. So I've just got him like three little things. He is obviously gonna get other presents from other family members, so I don't feel like too bad he's gonna get other things as well. So I've got uh, the Yummy Keys stainless steel teething rings. I've seen these before um, on Instagram and I, I think they look so, so good. Um, they're just like three steel rings with little beads on them that they can chew and I just think he'll really, really like that. He does love like things in his mouth. So I can imagine that'll be really, really good for him. Um, I bought that, or I got it from Amazon. I think that was about 20 pounds, something like that. You can also get like the keys. I think they're, they're meant to be like little animals. You can get them like, personalized. So that's quite a good idea. Also got an inflatable water mat, mat. I've seen it like on Facebook and Instagram. So I'll show you. So it's literally like a plastic mat and you put the water in the middle and then around the edges you, you fill it up so they could do like um, tummy time on it or they could sit on it and they like they squish it down and there's like little characters in it and they move about. Um, if I can get a picture of it I'll insert it here so you can get a better idea but I just thought that was really really good for him like to like play with because sometimes he has gotten a lot of Olivia's toys so it's nice for him to get a couple of like little new things. Lastly for James is a book, um, Yellow Digger. It's got the sounds on it. It doesn't play yet because I haven't taken out like, the battery bit. But again, he's got a lot of books from Olivia, so it's nice for him to have some new things. And I thought that was like quite a nice boyish one um, with the diggers. And that one was obviously Home Bargains. Um, the play mat I got from Amazon, I think that was about a tenner or something like that. And that's James. <laughs> So nice and easy. Olivia, because it's kind of her first year um, that she fully understands it, I think I've kind of been picking up bits and pieces and I've literally just gone and like putting it all in a pile and I've gone, oh, I've got a bit more than I was expecting. You know, it's like you pick up little bits and pieces and then you forget you've bought all these things. But a lot of it is frozen, so it's very girly. Um, well, I it's very girly in the sense that it's like clothes and you know things to play with. She absolutely loves Frozen, she, we've just recently saw the movie so she'll absolutely love all these things but her main present this year is a bike. I'll insert a picture here because it's up at my mum's um, because that's where we're going for Christmas. Um, it's a Frozen bike with a little obviously pedals and a stabilizers um, and again, I got that second hand. Um, there was a local church donating lots of bikes where you know they, they get somebody to check them over, check they're all okay, and it came up at 15 pounds. It's a frozen bike, and I just thought, do you know what? I didn't have a clue what to get her. I think this was about October, November. I didn't have a clue what to get her. Let's just go and get it. 
Um, so that's what we've got. We've cleaned it all up. Honestly, you would, apart from it really needing a good clean, it really was hard. It was hardly used. The tires looked really good. Um, just amazing and for again bikes last so little of time she'll be up to the next size before you know it so what is the point in spending a fortune why don't we you know recycle and reuse these things i think you know it's so easy and it's so shocking some of the prices of uh, like toys and that i'm watching all these like adverts and you know along the bottom it's like rrp and you're like how much <laughs> so it's always good to reuse things and you know buy um, things off a of buy, swap and sell off of Facebook. And so getting on to all our other bits and pieces, um, start off with her little costume, frozen costume. This is the Elsa one. Um, I got this from Matalan and it comes with a little hair braid. Um, I think that one was like 13 pounds, but I think I got it like reduced to seven or something like that. I got quite a good deal on it. Let's see. No, sorry, 17 pounds, but I think it was reduced to 13. So I've got quite a, quite a good deal on it. And it's, um, she'll like that. Although I did say, did you want a costume from Christmas or Santa? And she said she wanted Anna. So I've literally bought everything Elsa and she says she wants Anna stuff. <laughs> but I'm sure she will love it all the same. I have no doubt. Um, but yeah, maybe somebody will buy her the Anna stuff or if she gets pennies, we can get the Anna one. But that'll be really cool. I'm excited to see her opening that. Um, I got these off of Amazon. It's the mini paint sticks it's from Little Brian. I've seen these uh, used people using these on Amazon, and I th um, I've seen people using these on Instagram, and I thought they looked so so good. She loves painting and everything, but me being uh, a mum, I'm like I don't like the mess because you have to clean up after it. So these are like almost like a glue stick where you just like open the you like push it up and it just like you can paint it on so there's no water there's no mess of cleaning up paint brushes and things like that so i thought she would really really like that i'm excited for her to open that and use it um and it'll be better for me you know so i don't have quite so much mess to tidy up so that's the mini one and that was off of amazon i can't remember how much it was maybe like 10 15 pounds something like that I generally can't remember. It was quite a while ago I got that one. Um, I got her a toothbrush. Uh, practical mum here. Um, she needs a new toothbrush. I saw a Disney Princesses one. It's a Oral B like power brush. So she's always quite fat. She's always like looking at our one, and I thought, well, it'd be cool for her to get. And you can match it up with the app. Um, and it's good for telling her how long she needs to brush her teeth. But she is quite good at brushing her teeth for quite a while. Sometimes you have to be like, come on, we need to go, hurry up. <laughs> so that's quite good. I think that was a home bargains buy, I think. A couple of things off of Amazon that Craig picked up for her. Um, a little sort of like Frozen 2 mobile phone. She's got a few of these little things and she does actually play with them. So I think she will like that. She always goes like, oh, picture, or she'll be like, I'm watching something. So she's obviously watching us. And then a Frozen 2 little satchel, little bag. I'm not sure how much these cost because Craig obviously picked them up, but it was Amazon she got them from. So she will like that. Um, a little craft box. Again, she really likes crafts. So I thought this was really cute. This was from home bargains it was like three four pounds so it's got lots and lots of things in it glue glitter paint and um, like beads paper scissors so she'll really like that to play with i need to get i need to get a little better at crafts with her so um i thought that was good for kind of me to get involved with picked up another frozen by is the pajamas these were from Next Frozen again, and it comes with a little sort of like tutu, with a th which I thought was quite cute. Um, they're really nice. She is in dire need of pajamas, so hopefully she will get a lot from Christmas because literally she needs a whole overhaul of pajamas. <laughs> and another Frozen item, as I said, it's a bit frozen -y. I got her a new swimming costume. I spotted this in Next again. It's frozen, I don't think it's frozen, no, it's frozen one this time, but it's Speedo, um, and I thought that was really nice. She's really into her swimming, and that'll be nice. She probably needs some new ones anyway. 
wore the swimming costume. I mentioned this a while ago and about getting goggles for her and I spotted these in Next when I was getting her some bits and pieces. So it's frozen goggles. So I think she'll like that. And it's aged two to six, so it's perfect for her. And it's Speedo again. No idea on prices. Again, these were bought quite a while ago. This one picked up in Lidl's. Um, I thought this was really nice and I know it's like, be glass but porcelain that's the word I was looking for it is porcelain but she is a bit older now so it can be something that can be used as maybe like when we're having a nice treat meal or something like that not everyday use we'll keep the plastic ones um but I just thought they were really really pretty plates so it's Elsa and Anna um and it comes with a Olaf mug and the bowl as well too much if you can see. I think that was like a fiver from Lidl's so I thought that was really really good um, and I think she'll like that. It'll make her feel like she's a bit more grown up. <laughs> We're almost there. Just the last few bits and pieces. So I got we got her an iPad cover. Um, she does use the iPad a lot, not a huge amount. I do limit her iPad use, but I think since James come, James has come in, sometimes I'll maybe say like, you know, if he's sleeping or if I'm trying to get myself organized and I maybe just need 10, 15 minutes, I'll give her my phone or the iPad just to kind of like chill it out and I know she'll sit and play with that and she won't brother her bother her brother. I've got a little guest here, sorry about that. I thought I was gonna get away with that filming it while he's napped, but I've literally just got a few last things to do. So rather than stopping and feeding and sorting him out, I'm just gonna continue on. Hopefully it won't be too much of a bother. He'll just sit here quite fine. Um, so I was speaking about the iPad cover. Um, she does use iPad quite a lot uh, occasionally. Sometimes like if we're out and about in a restaurant, we'll take it with us or if she's in the car and I'm trying to get her not to sleep if it's like towards the end of the day. Um, so she needed a cover, our one broke, and I thought she needed like a proper one that was like a bit more secure. So it can act as a stand. This came off of Amazon. Craig bought this one. I was thinking, why buy a red one for her when it's a girl? But you know what? Um, me being me, I like everything pink and girly. But to be honest with you, he'll probably start using it, you know, so it's fine, you know, it's red. <laughs> Typical boy. <laughs> but I'm not too fussed about that. Um, another thing, another thing I got from Next um, was this Elsa doll. It's again Frozen 2. Again, I can't remember the price because it was quite a while ago, but she quite likes Barbies. I can see her getting into Barbies and I did mention about getting her a, uh, well, she said to me I want, she wanted a Barbie from Santa and I was like, I've already got an Elsa Barbie, so I said, oh, well, an Elsa one? And again, she said an Anna one, so we seem to have taken to Anna quite a lot. But again, I'm sure she'll like this, and if she's got any pennies, we'll maybe get her the, Elsa, uh, the Anna one as well, afterwards. Um, so yeah, that's that. Right, last few things. I would say, I'm quite surprised how much I've bought. I guess we'll all do this, we'll like pick up bits of pieces, and then before we know it, it's like a massive pile. One of the things, I do have for her, I picked up for her, is frozen vests, um, but I'm thinking I might just give her that because she really is in dire need of vests and she's got so much other bits and pieces that I don't think it's going to be too fussed if she gets vests at Christmas or not, so I might give her that. Again, practical mum, getting the things that she needs at Christmas. So, last few things. I got her a little like stocking filler, like the Frozen 2 beads. I thought these were really pretty. That was from Primark, it was two pounds. Um, I've got a little stocking for her, so these sort of little things I might put in that rather than like her main bag. Um, and then I got her a pair of gloves. She's probably, she just has little mittens just now, which are probably too little for her, but I thought these were really cute. Um, so like the fingerless ones, but you can obviously put the cover over them and they're funny and it's got like I think it's supposed to be like eyes and a little smiley and a little glittery nose um, and they're really they actually go with her jacket quite well that I got her so that was M Co but it was like buy two get one free so I got these free effectively so 
she can, that can just get in. I'll have another like stocking filler thing. And then last two things, frozen to selection box. Has to get a selection box, <laughs> and a colouring book. Disney one this time, I thought it was a little different because I think last year she got the frozen one and she does love colouring. Home Bargains by one ninety nine. nice little stocking filler for her. Sorry, I'm totally rushing this now. I'm trying to get this done because I need to go and get all these things away before she comes back from two's group. So that is everything um, that I've got from her for the two of them. Um, as I say, a bit more than I thought for Olivia, but I'm sure she'll love everything the same and she's probably going to get totally spoiled from all her grannies and uncles and uh, um, aunties and cousins and things like that, but it'll be an exciting year, so I'm really looking forward to it, to it. So, hope you've liked this vlog, give it a thumbs up if you did, and if you are new, please hit the subscribe button and we'll catch you the next time.